There's another one. There's another one. They've got to be like this big. What's up, buddy? We're being watched. What was that? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there you are. It's a fish, baby. Fish on. Welcome to another episode, guys. That's right, we're back in the mountains, baby. We're out backpacking. It has been far too long. And as you can see, we're already up quite a ways. What we're doing today, the mission for today, is really just to get up to a lake where we are going to hopefully set up camp before the sun sets. She is going down in a couple hours. The goal is to go up, forage for plants, mushrooms, and try and catch fish and eat them, eat whatever we can find. Uh, this isn't a full-blown survival mission. I did bring a little bit of food along that we can cook up some delicious trout with together. Oh, but I'm just super, just jacked to be back in the mountains again. Now, I've never been up at these lakes before. This is totally new. I've never even been on this trail. This is totally new territory, so I have no clue if there's fish in there. I'm hoping that there's wild populations of maybe rainbow or cutthroat trout. There's a squirrel in the bushes. That's not what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you all these berries. Look at this, we're already in the thick of it, finding wild berries. We're gonna find plenty of other stuff that we can forage out here. One thing, like I've said before, but I'll say it again, if you guys aren't 100% sure if you can eat something, never pick it, eat it. Don't even, well, you can touch it if you don't know what it is. But no, no, don't even do that. Don't even touch it if you don't know what it is. Look at this. We found a bunch of little puff balls. These, uh, Mushrooms here are actually good to eat. A lot of people know puffballs as these mushrooms that you step on and they puff up with this brown green dust. And at that point you can't eat them anymore. But these young little fresh guys, they're good to eat. All right, we're just gonna cut them open. Oh my goodness, look at this. Still perfectly white. So these guys are good to eat. Fresh wild mushrooms. In case we don't catch any trout, it'll give us extra food. And if we do catch trout, it'll complement the meal just perfectly. Beautiful. Mushrooms in the tackle box. Things are getting weird in the woods. Just the way we like it. Now when I'm out in the wild, I'm always looking for little snacks that we can have on the way up the mountains. In this case, we found some wild berries. These guys here are one of my favorites. It's called a salmon berry. Now there's not a whole lot of them left. We're kind of getting towards the end of the season. <laughs> this guy's really small. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, they're like a, oh, like a really sweet raspberry. Oh, check this out, I found another one. Oh, look at that. Now these guys here are just loaded with sugars and vitamins and water, and that'll keep you going on the trail just to, mm, just to get that little bit of extra energy. Man, mm, dude, those are delicious. So we left that little guy alone. He's back on the trail, basking in the sun, soaking up the last rays of the day. Those guys are non-venomous. They're garter snakes, but they can bite you. Believe me, I have been bit by one before. Uh, I love those little guys. Absolutely cool every time you see them. Look at this. Beautiful clearing way up here. I'm not 100% sure where the trail is. It looks like north is this way. East is right over there. But here we go, right back on the trail. So we're doing good. <sighs> Man. V 
view is beautiful up here. We're surrounded by birds, wildflowers. There's just no place like the mountains. Way back there in the distance, you can see Mount Rainier. It's the state's biggest, actually the West Coast's biggest volcano. Definitely Washington's biggest volcano, biggest mountain. Gotta climb that baby one of these days. Yes. Oh, sweet goodness. Little wild blueberries. Mm. Oh, so sweet. Oh, they're everywhere. Covered in wild huckleberries. Mm. Oh, such a good sweet snack. I'm hoping that they're everywhere up at the lake. <laughs> and then what you can see is those big mountains right up there. That's where we're headed now. Uh, just at the base of those mountains is where there's a couple lakes that we're going to try and get to. Oh. And just everywhere I look, there's these berries. Look at that. That's about as many as I can hold in my hand without dropping them all. Look at all those. Thank you, nature, for such a beautiful snack. Cheers. Mm. Oh, so sweet and tart. Oh, it's berry overload. We're so close to the lake too. We're almost there. Sun is setting. Oh, it's full of fish. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Oh my goodness. Look at this place. There's the one surface there. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. And now there's another one there. There's one right next to shore right there. They're just everywhere. They're, they're all over the place. I've never, I've never seen this many trout at a mountain lake in my entire life. Look right there. They're huge rainbows. They've got to be like this big. They're absolute giants. Let's get that drone up in the sky and just take a little look here. So what's happening is these trout are just actively feeding at the surface. I'm gonna set up one rod real quick with the bullet lure. We can literally sight fish for these trout here. I would be very surprised if they don't have a little nibble at the bullet lure. I'm literally shaking right now. That's how excited I am to start fishing. Do you guys hear all those fish splashing? It's just like, that's all I hear right now. It's so loud. I'm seeing multiple surface there. I say we get one on the first cast. Way out there. Ooh, there we go. And we're gonna do a fast retrieve. I think these trout probably want something quicker. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, hungry rainbow. Come on. Oh, oh, he hit it, he hit it, he hit it. Whew. Oh, we had one hit it on the first cast. Okay, no catch on the first. That's all right, that's all right. I'm just gonna do that again. My heart's pounding. Heart is pounding right now. Oh. All right, come on, third cast. Third one's the charm. 
Nope, nope, they did not like the slow retrieve. That's one thing at these mountain lakes is they do like the faster, faster retrieves. Here they're right up against shore. They're right there. All right, I'm already starting to look out for natural baits we could use here. Some of you might know exactly what I'm looking for. If you don't know yet, I'll show you soon. Wow, nothing yet. Oh, there's one literally right there. I just see him like with his snout coming out of the water and just eating stuff off the surface. Let's see if we can sight fish him. There you go, I see him. He's right there, he's right there. Oh, he ignored that lure. He totally ignored it. He had zero interest, didn't even look at it. All right, it's literally getting dark so fast. The sky is beautiful right now. Man, it's just super on fire up there. I already found a camp spot that we'll check out here in a second, but we're gonna get a bobber rod ready. Bobber rod set, but I just heard something big in the woods there behind me. I saw a report that there were bears spotted here, a mother and a cub at the lake like last week. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There's a big dragonfly right there. That means there should be dragonfly larva here somewhere. There we go, found one. Found one right on this log. Two, here's a big one. All right, it's game over. Game over, we have not one, but two dragonfly larvae. They're basically the nymph stage of a dragonfly. Watch what happens when we put one of those on a hook and under the bobber. Let's do this. This guy is on the hook. All right, we're gonna need the net right over here. I say it's going down in less than 30 seconds. Right there, right there. Bobber's right there. It's super dark. You can probably barely see it. Oh, bobber's already hit. It's already hit. There we go. It's down. It's down. It's down. It's down. And that's a fish on. <laughs> right away. <laughs> Ooh, fish on. It's not a huge one. Not a huge one. Hopefully didn't swallow it all the way. We can maybe let this one go. And oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, huh? never mind. Never mind. Decent fighter. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Oh, got him in the net. Yes. Oh, that's not a bad fish, man. Good, healthy looking trout. That happened in like 10, 15 seconds and that bobber was down. They just cannot resist those dragonfly larvae. It's just the natural thing that they're already eating up here. So the hook just popped right out. That's crazy. This is still one of the little guys. Beautiful rainbow trout. So this here will make a perfect meal for right now. Oh man, let's go. That's awesome. Yep, right here should do. The lake is right there. Now this tent here uses my trekking poles as the tent poles and uh, therefore the tent is a really, really lightweight. Perfect. There she is. Thing is absolutely awesome. Lightweight, blows up with seven or eight blows. Oh, oh I feel so good. Oh. Tent is ready to go. Now this is our little just in case package. Our goal is always to have that as a last resort, but better to have it, not need it, than need it and not have it. That's the water filter. There's still trout jumping here everywhere. This is in, absolutely insane. All right, here we go, filled with water. This is just the water bag and the filter is right inside here. Pop the top. I always like to just run a little bit through first, but that's clean water coming out right there. Uh, 
Oh, oh it's so good. It's the first water I've had since getting up here. Oh. We're gonna save this little moth from a certain fishy death. Come here, buddy. I'm, I'm really trying to help you, dude. We saved the moth. There is no chance he was gonna survive in that water with those hungry tr uh, trout still chasing around at night. I can't resist. I just can't resist. I've never done this before, but I'm still hearing the trout feeding everywhere. We still have that second dragonfly larva, so I thought to myself, why don't we just put that little guy on a hook here and cast him out and see if we can't get a bobber down at night. All right, here we go. First ever nighttime bobber fishing for me. I just saw one surface. We're just gonna clean up this fish here too. Might as well clean him while we're waiting. Oh, my stomach is absolutely full. It's just all bugs. What we're gonna do with the guts and the head is fling it way out into the, into the water, uh, just so it doesn't sit around near shore attracting bears. I, I wanna keep that smell away from us. Whoa, 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 we got a fish on, we got a fish on. What just happened? <laughs> That's a fish on, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, all of a sudden I saw the, uh, the line moving out. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, little guy, little guy. What is this? Whoa, 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 what is this fish? That's a different species, different species. What is going on? Check this guy out. I wanna make sure he's fully ready before he swims off. Oh, oh, you ready, buddy? Well, unfortunately we tried reviving this guy here, but for some reason, even though we tried our hardest, he still didn't make it. But uh, look at that color again. I don't know, you trout experts, let me know what this is. It's a very interesting looking fish. We're just gonna just stab him in the head real quick just to make sure he's not alive because we're going to gut him. Oh my goodness, the meat on this fish is bright red. Look at how red that meat is. That is the reddest meat I have ever seen on a trout. Like as dark as a king salmon or something. That is insane. It's got to be a different species. That is wild. Look at that difference in the meat. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Remember, if you guys do have something like that with you, just make sure you guys are safe. By the way, it is very rare that wildlife will ever attack you. Just an FYI, don't let the woods scare you. It's probably a lot safer out here than it would be in any of the big inner cities. Statistics actually prove that bear spray is more effective then guns. Oh, but then there's the mountain lion. There could be one right behind me right now. <laughs> All right, time to cook a little bit of dinner. There we go, we got the tail end for the big one. All right, I think it's about time that we give them a flip. What the? Did you? Did you just hear that? Oh man. I don't know if you guys could hear that with the bubbling of the fish, but it was super loud. It was like, Wah! what was that animal? If you know what that is, let me know. Whew. There's no one else out here, by the way. No cars at the trailhead. All right, Danny Sea Salt, baby. Oh, geez, it's a big wasp. Whoa, whoa. 
Oh, will you look at that? It's perfect, absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is gonna be good. Everything's coming off, even the pin bones, just perfectly. Look at that ultra crispy tail. That's probably the best tr trout tail I've ever eaten. So before I actually started my YouTube channel, uh, I watched a ton of Fisherman's Life. I remember Brian called me one day. He's like, dude, you got to check out this, this channel. This dude just goes up in the woods and catches trout, and he just eats them in a pan with avocado. So to honor Matt's today, Fisherman's Life, we're going to do his recipe. This meat is on that trout. I'm really, really curious to try that one. That is just beautiful. Cheers, guys. We're going to start with the red one. Oh, man. Super firm. Nice bite to the meat. Now let's go ahead and try the uh, the white meat here. Mm. Really good too. How do I even describe how good this is right now? So the way that this guy here works is that we're going to fill all of our food into this bag later and then all we got to do is pull on this string and up she goes away from the bears. All we're going to do is tie it off on this tree right here. And now our bag is way up there in the tree. No way a bear can get to that now. Even if they were to climb up the tree, the branch is so far out that the bear would not be able to reach for the food. So, ha, fooled you guys. There we go. Uh, there's a dragonfly larva. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He swam right under the camera. <laughs> <laughs> they keep swimming away. There's a little baby. Last try. <laughs> oh, I'm getting tired. We're, on. <clears throat> We're in the tent now. Trout pillow. <laughs> All this is, is it's stuffed with my spare clothing. I'm still hearing trout just splashing around and jumping in the lake. So it's just bizarre. And get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Check out the view that we've got from the tent here. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. Oh. It's beautiful. Slept all right last night. Maybe four hours of sleep. It wasn't wasn't the best, wasn't the best ever. I had some weird, weird dreams about some animals last night. We're gonna go and check and make sure that our food has not gotten eaten by a bear. And then uh, we're gonna make some coffee. Way up there, worked like a charm. Mm. 
most of the trout, I'm noticing there's a constant surfacing over by that rock. There's that rock and then just right there. And I just see them up at the surface just just eating bugs or whatever they're doing there. We're gonna make a really big pot of coffee, so we're doing lots of water here. I'm really lucky about the area that I live in. There's these beautiful alpine lakes. We've got creeks and rivers all over the place. I never need to pack tons of water, which causes extra weight in the pack, and just stock up on water every time you cross a little creek or lake or something. What I have here with us is a military MRE. This here is menu chili and macaroni. Squishy pouch, that's probably the chili macaroni or something. Oh, that's cool. We'll be able to use that. It's lemon lime, like lemonade powder. Beef snack strip. <laughs> oh, interesting. I got a vegetable cracker. Applesauce cake. Yes, yes, applesauce cake. We, I don't know what that is, but it sounds like breakfast. It better be. That'll go great with the coffee. For all you guys in the military, let me know in the comments below like what, what some of the weirder things are that you've gotten in MREs or what your favorite ones were. Let's take a look at this weird applesauce cake. Not exactly sure how to describe this. It's kind of like a solid loaf. Remember, of course, with all this kind of packaging, especially when you've got a lot like that, just make sure you guys pack it out. I know you will. applesauce cake. Cinnamon. -y. Cheers. This one's to you guys making all of this possible. That's still hard to believe sometimes that this is what I'm doing. I know bird. I know the first sip is always the best. There's one right there in front of us. Right there. Big old ripples. Don't know where he went. Man, I might need to just bring the bullet lure over real quick. Let's try and get one, a morning fish on the bullet lure. I'm seeing them surface again over there by that rock. So maybe what I'll do is get the chesty on and then we'll try and cast the bullet lure right into the thick of those fish. There's gotta be probably like 20, 30 trout hanging out there, just gorging themselves. Cheers. Mm. All right, that'll keep me going for the morning. Now we gotta start working on fishing for lunch. All right, we got the chesty on. We're gonna now climb through this here. This is like <laughs> kind of just slick rock. See, this might be a decent spot to cast from, not a good spot to land a fish from. So if we do hook one, we might have to run over there to shore and land them there. Ooh, yeah, right into them. So we'll just kind of jig the bolt lure here a little bit. Sometimes they like that. Right in there again. Tell you what, fast retrieve. Picky, picky little fellas. Ooh, I think we just had one kind of hit it. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. It was kind of like a medium speed retrieve and one just kind of swooped in and, and knocked it. Oh man, look at this. Of course, once again, a balloon. Irritating. No matter where you go, you'll always find balloons. People fly them and they always come back down. Oh, that scared me, a little frog. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Let's let you right back to your spot.
Oh, there we go. It's a fish, baby. Fish on. Oh. Oh, oh, good fire. Oh, he choked it. He absolutely choked it. I see it deep in his mouth. Oh. Oh. Oh, let's go. Oh, it's a beautiful rainbow. We're going to need the net. We're going to need the net. Oh, come here, baby. Come here. Oh, my goodness. That's a gorgeous fish. That's a gorgeous fish. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look how big this rainbow is. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he absolutely choked it. You can see he's, he's bleeding out. Um, choked that bullet lure all the way down to the gills. Dang it, I wanted to release one. <laughs> Let's bonk this guy right away. Oh, oh, come on, buddy, come on, come on. This is a perfect, perfect eating fish. So let's just give him a nice sharp blow to the head here. There we go. And he's shaking. We're going to give it one follow up. There we go. He's out. That is a studly, studly fish. My goodness. Bullet strikes again. That was a challenge, but we got him. Wow. That's a big, nice rainbow. Look at that. Unbelievable. On the bullet lure, man on the bullet lure. Thank you, buddy, for providing us with a delicious lunch. Look at that beautiful fish. Let's see if we can catch another one. If it swallows it again, and if they're just that hungry, uh, then maybe we'll, we'll, we'll call it for the day. Oh man, oh, they're just all around that rock. That rock out there is the party spot. Don't even have the net with me here. We're just fishing for fun right now. We already got our food. Oh, I'm just seeing so many of them. Oh, we're, we're right in the middle of them. Right in the middle of them. What do we got here? Check this mushroom out. don't remember exactly which one this is. Let's go ahead and take them to camp. I've got a tiny bit of reception. Maybe we can ID this mushroom and find out what it is. Now look at these little guys. Are these, could they potentially be hedgehog mushrooms? <gasps> I think they are. Absolutely, that's a hedgehog mushroom. Look at all those little, looks like little spikes they have down there. That's an edible mushroom right there. Sweet. Oh, more hedgehog mushrooms. Oh yeah, look at that. Our quick little forage session paid off. Man. Check that little guy out. Awesome, we'll add that to the tackle box. All right, we're gonna cook up that trout right here at this spot. And I have decided to make this a two part episode because I still have a whole nother lake to hike up to. It's gonna be an epic climb. So of course, if you guys aren't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe that way you guys do not miss this potentially epic adventure. I've got a really good feeling because based on the drone shots that I saw, it looks really juicy. As with all trout, just start right at the butthole. Come up between these two fins, don't cut yourself. Oh, interesting, so there are eggs in there. So it's a female, it's not a triploid. And here's the belly, moment of truth. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Tons of itty bitty little black bugs like ants, a couple of, there's dragonfly wings in there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just take the head off along with all the guts. Let's actually keep these eggs. We'll eat the eggs. Trout eggs, mm -mm -mm. And then we'll take the head and we'll just kind of return that to the lake. That way the, the crawdads and everything can eat that. That's the kidney right here. And then you just push it right out with your finger. All right, boys and girls, that is a clean trout right here. Beautiful. We're just gonna start with a little bit of butter. We're just gonna take a few of these little 
the white puff balls that we found yesterday and we're just gonna slice them in half. Just always check the inside and make sure they're not getting brown, but these guys, mm, absolutely delicious, perfect. I could not get internet up here, so I'm not sure 100% what this is. So we're gonna set them aside for now. And we've got our hedgehog mushrooms. We're gonna clean these up real nice. There we go, nice and somewhat cleaned hedgehog mushrooms. Throw those babies in there. In comes the fog behind me. There we go, we got all the mushrooms in the pot. Uh-oh, I'm seeing raindrops on the water. But that's okay, because we got an onion that we're gonna chop up now. I think what we'll do with the trout is just like cut it in half. There's a lot of fish. I'm just gonna cut out this uh, fin here already. There we go. Now that's a slab of meat right here. And the tail here, we can eat that later. Stir up those onions real quick. Just make sure everything is neatly caramelizing in here. All right, it's time for the fish. We're just gonna set those guys aside to rest. Just melt a little bit of butter in here. Oh man, it just barely fits. You know what, let's try one of these uh, hedgehog mushrooms. Mm. Oh yeah, firm. Those are delicious. Here's a little puff ball. Oh yeah, really good flavor on the puff balls. And I mean, there's no salt or pepper or anything in there, just super earthy. Right, we're down to the main ingredient. We got our Danish sea salt. We're just gonna load the fish up with a little bit of that. Oh, look at those thick crystals. Oh yes. I can't even see camp anymore. Right, we're gonna add the fish eggs here on the side. Let them curl up. Oh, look at that. Whoa, man, it smells good. Right, I think it's time to flip this baby around. Mm. Oh man, look at this. Oh, oh it's golden brown. eat some trout eggs. Look at that nice crispy trout eggs. Cheers. Oh, oh dude. Oh, those are good. Those are some of the best trout eggs I've ever had. Super crispy. A little bit salty, almost like bacon. Don't waste the eggs, guys. You can either use them as bait or you can eat them. Look at that. I think this guy is probably done. Look at that, just pulled the ribs right out of that. Beautiful, beautiful meat. We're gonna make something special here, but I just wanted to taste one little piece with absolutely nothing on it. <laughs> ah. Oh, so good. All right, things are about to get really serious. We got some cheese. We got the tortilla. Watch and learn. Cheese in the pan first. Tortilla. Second, keep that on low and just let those guys become best friends in the pan. Whew, just give them a second. <sighs> I'm gonna spend, try and just get up to the mountains as much as possible because come late October, it's all gonna snow in. And so it's just a super limited season that we have up here in these mountain climates. We'll spend more time at the new NWFS property, do some improvements. I've been out there once or twice here through the summer, didn't do any filming. 
I think there is magic happening in this pan. And then we're just gonna give the fish a squirt of lemon. Just squirt it right on the fish here. <laughs> All right, a little more. There we go. Let's go ahead and just take a peek and see what has happened. <laughs> it usually looks a lot prettier when it comes off the pan beautifully, but this is still crispy cheese. And we are going to take a big chunk of trout. Tell you what, one for the tortilla, one for me. Oh, the lemon. Mmm. We got some caramelized onions. And we got some wild mushrooms that we're going to sprinkle on there. Puff balls and the uh, hedgehogs. And one slice of avocado. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a mountain wrap right there. Oof. All right, here we go. All right, here's an idea. Why don't we set our food down here? We're gonna dig into that. But I'm curious if we cast that bobber out, that's where all those trout were surfacing. Maybe we can get a bobber down from right here. There you go. Let's just see what happens if the bobber's way out there. I don't know, can you guys see the bobber there? Probably can. Oh, look at that. Cheers. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> oh, rain's coming down on us, man. The mushrooms add so much good earthy flavor. The wild mushrooms, the onions make it super sweet from the caramelization. Mm. Mm. Over down. Bobber's down. There we go, it's a fish on, baby. Oh, eating the tortilla. Oh, it's so good, I don't want to stop though. Mm. This is a really good fish. It's a giant, it's a giant trout. No, oh, it came off. That fish was Probably this big, guys. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not kidding. What happened? Oh, he was a giant. He broke my hook. That was a huge fish. Ooh, slippery. This is not a place where I can afford to slip and fall and get hurt. Oh, I can't believe we lost that one. <laughs> oh no, my fleece. That giant. Ah, but that's all right. It's okay. Because we still got part two coming. I'm going to camp out one more night. We'll see what else happens. Head up to that lake. So remember, like, comment, subscribe if you guys are still brand new. And uh, well, we'll see all of you guys very soon for the next one. Till then, you all know it. Fish on, baby.